Bubba and the Beard. He's Bubba. I'm... Oh, you did that. He's the Beard. I am. And tonight, <laughs> today, this morning, this afternoon, whenever you're watching, we're reviewing Sagamore Rye Whiskey. A Baltimore... Maybe they're watching during Poopy Doopy time. Maybe. I hope so. That's mm -hmm. a fun time. And, you know, two birds with one stone, as yeah. I always like to say. I watch a lot of reviews during Poopy Doopy time. Yeah. Scotch Chest Dummies are perfect during that time. <laughs> people, people wonder why I'm laughing so hard. Yeah. Like, um, this is really fun in here. <laughs> it's really fun. Yeah. It's smelly. Um, but anyway, Sagamore Rye Whiskey is uh, a source whiskey for now in Baltimore County, Maryland, um, by uh, Mr. Plank of Under Armour. These guys right here. He, uh, decided, he's what, the CEO or something? He's the owner, CEO, Boss. CEO, coup. He might be the coup. He's CEO. a big dog. He's the big dog. Um, he uh, named his uh, this rye whiskey, this particular rye whiskey, after his... Um, the uh, Worthington Valley Horse Racing and Training Center. So that's it's the uh, Sagamore Horse Track. Horse and it's Sagamore Spirit. And this right. is, but that's what he named it after because he owns that as well. Gotcha. My cousin Christopher and my cousin Gretchen picked this up for me, and I appreciate it. Thank you guys. Um, they wanted me to try it, and I actually had some in Maryland while I was down there. And uh, they got this. This is a special bottle. This is bottle number 805. So it's it's uh, it's down there. Now it says our spirit flows from the spring house built in 1909 in Maryland Sagamore at South at sorry at Maryland Sagamore Farm. Naturally filtered spring water fed from a limestone aquifer. The same water that fuels their champion thoroughbreds. So apparently they do some horsey stuff. Yeah, that the Worthington the Worthington Valley Horse Track. Not too bad. And uh, I think Mr. Plank owns that as well. Aged over three years in new charred oak barrels. Yep. So pretty young, mm -hmm. but, but I the, like young rise. I do too. There's yeah. no age statement on this. Um, the master distiller is Larry, well, Larry Ebersold. Larry Ebersold worked for Seagram Seven, Seagram Seven for thirty years. Really? Mm hmm Yep. So he is the master distiller did for. Did you say Sagamore. Seagrams before? Or did you say Maker's Mark? Uh, well, there was a master distiller for Maker's Mark. They, it was unspecified who that master distiller was, who they hired first um, when they first began oh, their, gotcha. their process. So I'm not really certain who that was. Whether it was Dave Pickerel, it's possible Dave Pickerel is the rye head. So working now for Whistle Pig. Mm -hmm. um, so it's possible it was him. They just didn't uh, they didn't name drop whoever that was who was working for Maker's Mark, but they did hire someone. Um, we could probably find that out. That's a that's a whiskey fabric thing too, kinda. You know, mm -hmm. everybody kinda yeah. gets together and helps out. Do it up. Do it up right. So you went down to Maryland uh, for my cousin's graduation. Congrats. Yep, congratulations, Lucas. Congratulations. Um, congr I'm like, oh, uh, <laughs> for uh, graduating high school. Congratulations. Um, we had a lot of a lot of partying, a lot of good food. Uh, ate my waking uh, blue crab down there. I don't know if you're familiar with blue crab. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Love me some blue crab. Peeling a blue crab, dip it in some butter. Some people like to dip it in vinegar. I'm not, I'm not down with the vinegar, but people do that. A little vinegar and salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. I do that with my artichoke hearts. Or my artichoke leaves. Yummy. I like dipping it in other Maryland blue crab. <laughs> he takes his Maryland blue crab and dips it in Maryland blue crab. Yeah. Delicious. That's how I do it. Awesome. How do you do it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a 41.5% ABV. It's an 83 proof straight rye whiskey. Again, from Baltimore County. Um, they started out at the uh, former city bus depot. Baltimore former city bus depot. There's a, there's a pretty cool history here. They, they it was a, it was a temporary temporary uh, place just so they could do their first bottling in, in early 2016 is when they did this. So. I dig the bottle. Yeah, the bottle's pretty. It's a very cool. nice bottle. Yeah. Heavy, heavy duty. Heavy, heavy duty. 
Want to do some nose notes? Oh, wingy, wait, wingy, wait. wingy. We need some color. Color on the on the BATB color. rally towel. Yeah, yeah. It's a uh, amber, golden honey, yeah. goldenrod honey. Maybe? Yeah, goldenrod honey. Yeah, a little amberish. Neat nose notes. Wow. Neat nose notes. That's a lot of rye. It smells very rye. Do you know the mash bill? Very Is it 100 percent rye? Straight rye whiskey, 100 percent mm -hmm. rye, I believe. I want to say it's 100 percent rye. Okay. I I I would not. It's very rye. -y. Very. Spicy. Uh, cinnamons. Um, the 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 hairspray that I get sometimes from a from a high rye. Oh, we're gonna go back to our, our original Buffon mm -hmm. Buffon hair. Buffon. It's not. It wasn't. Was it's not even Buffon. I'm still wrong on that. Yeah. But I'm still gonna go with it. But I, I like know. the word, so you can keep just keep Buffon Buffon hair. Buffon. There's some vanilla. That's French. Is it? No. I, 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 I enjoy French fries. <laughs> Sweet potato fries? Oh, yeah. Are they're, those French fries then? If they're sweet potato fries, are they French fries? Yeah, because it's a French cut. Oh, as opposed to steak fries. What if you had a steak fry, steak sweet potato fry? You know the steak No, fry? I don't think I'd like that. That wouldn't be very good. How about the shoestring? Yes, that's good. Especially shoestring. when they're really crispy. Mm. A little brown sugar. Curly? Marshmallow blood. Curly fries? No? Yeah, especially from Arby's. Ooh, yeah. Arby's curly fries are the best. And that this smells like Arby's curly fries. I hate that no. I'm plugging a fast food joint because I hate <laughs> fast food joints, but if I'm going with a curly fly. fly. If I'm going with a curly fly flu flippy. Flippy, floppy, floopy, floopy. Flow, flow. And I got the queen bee laughing behind the camera. You know, I know you all can hear it. So how you doing? <laughs> Yay, we did it. We did it. Well, you she's, did it. Well, she's on camera. Smile. You're not on camera. She's smiling. That's a good thing. Oh, it smells good. It smells uh, leathery. There's some leather leather in there. Some bread. Some some, some wood. Rock. Yeah, yeasty. It's yeasty. Yeah, that, that uh, new American oak comes out of there. Oaky. Oaky. It it, uh, it smells good. I'm going way back on this, but it way it, back. It has a. Uh, it reminds me of the nose on the High West Double, the High West Double Rye. I can see it, that. It kind of resembles that I think nose. It's stronger in, in rye than High West. I would concur, but if you've had the High West, <clears throat> if you have it now and you don't have this, you know you can kind of get some of the same nose. Mm -hmm. On this, I want to say that I don't know how much this was. I don't know what Chris, Chris and Gretchen paid for this, or actually they didn't. About tree fitting. No, it, it's less than it's less than a hundred. It's probably about tree fitting. I want fitting. to say I'm gonna guess. I think it was like I, I did see it in the store when I was down in Baltimore when I got the the other ride, the uh, Jack Daniels ride. I think it was I want to say sixty three. Can we agree that? Anytime we don't know how much it costs, it's always going to be about tree fitty. About tree fitty. How about, can we say tooth hurdy? Tooth, tooth hurdy? My, my tooth hurdy. Tooth hurdy. <laughs> mm, but it smells good. It's. Let's, got, let's uh, taste it. Taste it. Let's nice taste it. Wet the gums. Rye black. whiskey, rye whiskey, rye whiskey. Got black licorice. Yeah. An that anise. But yeah, rye, spicy. Very cinnamon. high. Cinnamon. High cinnamon, high dill. Mm hmm. Mm. It's good. It's good. I like it. Uh, and, and actually, I would guess this was a higher ABV than it actually is, which in, in our book's a good thing. Yeah, only um, eighty three. It, it but it is young. Has a burn. Yeah. So it's it's a young rye. It, I mean, you you can tell it's a young rye just by tasting it. Again, this is all this liquid is sourced um, right now until they're established. But similar to um, Whistle Pig, mm -hmm. I mean, Whistle Pig has farm stock that's that's their own stuff right now. But everything else is sourced. It's a it's a bucking young stud. It's a bucking young stud. Crikey, wrong <laughs> hat. Wrong hat. Mm. Mm. 
It's really yeah. good. Yeah, I like it. I do like, I like it. it. It's got legs. I think. I think a little more age, and and. I, yeah, more. I agree. With it takes a little bit more time in the barrel. Mm -hmm. I get some of those. Um, Cleaner notes that you get from a younger or even like a white rye. You know how they t usually taste very clean and new and fresh. Mm -hmm. um, I get some of that. Mm -hmm. Cleaning, some cleaning. Supplies. Supplies type. Yeah. Newness, freshness. Pledge. This is a hot bottle. Hot in my face with it. Hot in my beard. Mm. I'm going to put it behind my beard. <laughs> It does have legs. I, I I wish you guys could kind of see that. It it's stunning. Look at that. Look at Look that. Look at that. Oh, that's so pretty. If we could zoom in. Yeah, if we could just zoom into there, like it's. He just laid so his glass down, knocked his glass over. That's why I have a notebook. See, if I didn't have a notebook, Can they see it. There'd be, there'd be, there'd be. If I didn't have a notebook, <laughs> could I turn it? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, uh oh. Uh -oh. Look at that. Look at it. Will you look at that? We, would you just look at it? All right, we don't want to steal that, dude. No, somewhere. no, but that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Search that on YouTube. That's funny, too. Just like us. Funny looking. Bubba, what do you score this rye whiskey? Um, right before you say it, let me write mine down. I'm going to go 83. I'm going 85 on this rye. Yeah. 85 on the rye. 85, 83. 85, 83 for Tree Fitty. It's like a quarterback's call. 85, 83. Boop, 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 tree Fitty, Tree Fitty, hut. Hey, boop, boop. If you guys could see what we see, we see the Queen Bee and that going rhyme. like this. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. You got no. it. No. Nope. Yep. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we get the finger wag. The waggy, wagging mm -hmm. of the finger. I was mm -hmm. going to be a dancer on that. <laughs> got her again. <laughs> Boom. Every third episode, we need to, you need to do that. <laughs> Just How about every episode I do that? <laughs> the movie reference we can't remember. No. Anyway, uh, thanks for joining us today. We scored. We want you to subscribe if you want. No, I'm just kidding. Not if you want. Do it. <laughs> uh, talk to us on the tweeters. We try to reply as quickly as possible. We can yeah. get it on our little, uh, what do they call these things? Uh, they're uh, magic boxes. Dumb, dumb phones. Dumb phones. Yeah. It's so funny when you figure out anything. Yeah. Uh, Solve You know. You know. You know. We love your whiskey faces. If you Each can drink and every it. one of you. Yeah. We will review it. Kills me. Killing me, Smalls. <laughs> Killing me, Smalls. You said if you can drink it. If you can drink it. If you can drink it. We will review it. We will review it. Survey 6.